how you doing people you got the urban yankee so today i'm working on a pvc back quiver for my arrows and the first thing you want you want to need is a pvc pipe this is about a, a two and a half inch pvc pipe two and a half inch wide you can just use any size you want and i went ahead and i marked it 24 inches from the bottom to the top 24 inches okay and that's where I'm gonna cut it okay okay I went ahead and cut it 24 inches long okay the next step is I'm gonna preheat the oven about 200 degrees and I'm just gonna let it sit there for a few minutes so it softens up and uh, I'll show you what's next after that okay I have the PVC pipe in the oven it's softening up right now and it's ready to come out once I get it out I'm gonna take this three quarter by two inches insert it into the pipe the PVC pipe then I'll take this piece of wood here and I'll flatten it. Okay, that's the next step. Here it is nice and soft. I'm gonna insert the piece of wood. Okay, now I'll take, I'll take the big piece of wood and just flatten it. Okay, there it is. It's still drying. I put a weight, a dumbbell weight on top of it just to hold the wood down while it dries. Okay. So I'll show you next when it's fully dry. I'll show you what it looks like before we move on to the next step. Okay. Here's a bottom view of the quiver, the PVC quiver. I'm going to have to plug this up, but that's next. I'll figure something out how to plug it out. There's the PVC pipe. And right now I have about five, about five arrows in there. But you can easily fit nine, ten arrows in there, easily. There's the bottom piece. I just finished heating it and molding it. And uh, once it dries, I'm going to remove it and fit it. I'm going to fit it around this bottom here. And also shape it and cut it. Okay. See that? That's the way I mold my PVC. So I'll use a different size piece of woods to help me shape the mold basically you see the way it fits around that piece of wood well that's how it's gonna fit around here and I'm gonna shape it to fit around there okay okay so I took this piece that I molded right and Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going to heat this up and just fold it around just like I did this one and the other side is done too. So this is the last one that I need to heat up and just fold and let it dry and that, that'll be it and then I'll just glue it and I'll show you what's next. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so here it is. There's the, uh, the cap that I made out of PVC for the bottom. Okay, I made a little cap for the bottom. Okay, there's the top. All right, so the next time you see this, it'll be covered in camo, camouflage duct tape. Okay, there it is. 
I have the PVC quiver all taped up in camouflage tape. There's the arrows. Okay, here's my quiver. PVC. Here's a little view of the inside. But uh it's not quite finished. Here's the tape that I was using. <clears throat> so here we are. I cut out some uh, PVC little pieces for the strap. I guess you call them strap holders. And uh, that piece goes there. And this piece goes here. Okay, so what I got to do is paint them. I want to paint them so they will match the camo tape and then after that I'm just going to run this nylon strap to, to both ends Here's the finished product, my uh, PVC quiver, there's, there's the strap, here's the, uh, the buckle, and the one inch nylon strap, okay, so that's my uh, PVC quiver video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, please subscribe. Hit that like button so I can bring you more cool videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.